Hey guys, uh, Paul from Paul's Carts here. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to cut this head in half. That's right, this is a brand new GX200 cast in. I have thousands of them around here. And uh, I had a, one hanging on the wall for the longest time that I had chopped up. Now my buddy said, dude, he came in the shop. He's like, dude, that's the coolest thing I ever saw. But uh, this was just a bad casting. You know, I had welded. I had used it. You know, anytime I was putting in bigger seats, I would just, you know, when I was adjusting the counter bore, I would just drill it into this head, try to find out the right size of the seat before I went and put it in the other seat. So before I put in the uh, seat in the proper head, that was like a finished head. So this is just a test dummy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this other one, brand new one in half with the untouched chamber and untouched seat. So, uh, let me uh, get to Sauron and cut this thing in half. Nah, never mind. I'm not going to cut this head in half. I'm just kidding. I'm going to cut it. It's actually already cut in half. But, uh, so here's just a look down the, the port from this angle. Before I show you it from the actual split side. And you can see where I've cut it. I tried to cut it off center so you can see more of the port. On the last head I cut, I cut it pretty much right down the dead center. I did still cut it right through the center of the guides. And here is the exhaust port. And as you can see, this one kind of came right through the center. But uh, yeah, let's split her open and see what's inside. So, this is how I made the cut. And this is what we're looking at. Pretty cool, right? So, this is the front of the head. Let's start with the front, and then we'll look at the back. So, this is the front of the GX200 Honda Casting. Cut in half. Um, down the intake port and the exhaust port. Cut through the guides. And cut through the seats. Pretty radical chop. The ports aren't in a straight line with each other, as you can see here. They're a little off center. Even though the guides are straight, the ports, you know, you could tell that from the outside of the casting. Um, you know, because you could see this port's a little off that way and this port's a little bit more off backwards. But, uh, so that's, look at from the top. You can see there's some room for cooling. But why I originally cut this in half was to see areas of concern when I was porting. Like right in here, it gets real thin. And right back here, and especially on the other section of head casting, I'll show you. But uh, here's the back side of the head, which I think is a little bit cooler. This has the deeper um, ports. See the guides, the bowls, and from the side angle, you know, you could see problem areas like this corner here. You would definitely want to cut that off for porting, round that over. This hard edge corner right here, you would definitely want to round that over. And then you would kind of want to really mainstream this area to almost, uh, you know, you can't cut back too much because then what happens is if I've seen people take the this so there's no guide protruding out. So when you look down the port, it's just flat with no guide sticking up whatsoever. They've completely cut the guide completely straight off. And when you do that, what happens is you've basically cut off this whole section here. And this area right up here gets thin. So I always epoxy this area and down in here. I fill this completely with epoxy. Um, unless I'm doing a radical head, then this will get welded. But this is usually just filled with epoxy. I'll bring it out to about this fin here and fill this all in. Fill it in up to here. Just to beef that all up. Um, and uh, so if you take this completely off when you're porting, um, you have very little... You only have this little tiny area. You'll only have this little... Sorry, bump this light again. 
Let me set this phone down and get this set up so I can show you. If you take this guide off like this, there's only this little bit of boss left on this side that holds the guide. And then you'll end up porting, because this has never been touched or ported. So you can just imagine when you start porting how thin this section here gets. And if anyone's wondering, I do have some calipers here. Now I've done this before and measured this all out. Uh, because something that you kind of need when you're uh, porting is a sonic checker. Now if you don't have a sonic checker, this right here might just save your day. So let's go, I got this in millimeters right now. Let's put it in inches. We're in it, we're in America. So let's see how thick this area is right here at this angle of cut. And being that this is one, so just as I tell you this, this is off centered a little bit, this cut down the port. It's a little bit closer to um, the front of the port. So this is gonna get a little bit thinner towards the center of the port. You see how there's a lot of port here? So back towards the center, a little bit further back, a little bit further back, like back here a little bit is the center of the port. It'll be actually a little bit thinner there, but this will give you a good idea of how thick that material is. So at that exact point, it's about 150 thousandths of an inch thick, maybe three, four millimeters, about four millimeters thick right here. In the center of the port, it's more like 145 thousandths, closer to about three and a half millimeter. Um, so you don't have a lot of room when you're in here porting to actually take material out, out right there. Um, so when you do anything like a, adjust the port angle, um, which I do a lot on my intake ports, uh, constantly will we'll, uh, fatten that area up, whether it's weld or epoxy depending on the uh, radicalness of the port, port angle, stuff like that. But when you're porting, you definitely want to round this edge here. Um, you know, I, I usually throw bronze guides in there. Now I've taken, since I made the first video where I said I was going to cut it, I've already taken these seats and guides out that kind of fell out when I was cutting them, and I, I just uh, uh, Loctited them with some clay Loctite back in place, just so I can have this fixture for a while. So let's just spin this around from some different angles. Take a look at it. I don't know if this light's doing any justice. Probably was helping. You can actually see, you know, the area between the two pockets is, now this is a standard head. This has just the 2524, uh, this is a GX200 casting. Um, so this area in the middle here, the bigger the valve seats, the thinner that area is. That's pretty thick right there. Um, so, I mean, you can put a 3228 in here without busting through the center. I've actually never busted through the center right there. But, uh, you know, you will break through in areas, uh, definitely, um, on your first time doing it. Uh, probably even, you know, on your 20th time doing it, you'll still be popping through areas. But, uh, you know, so that's the back. As you can see, you can see right through there. And that's, that's how it looks there. the other half. If you guys want me to measure something or get you some dimensions on something, by all means, uh, just leave a comment. Um, this is just a cool topic and really cool to see. Uh, a lot of head porters out there might want information from this. This will probably help a lot of people out. I know I originally cut that um, other head that I have in half for a reason just so I can measure things out But yeah, 
just thought it was something cool. My buddy said, hey man, post a video, cut one in half. I said, all right, man, will do. So uh, this is that head cut in half. Paul from Paul's Carts. Until next time, guys, have a nice day.